Hello, this is Rob here from robcoven.com and I'd like to give you a bit of introduction into how to change the design of your website. And I'm going to show you this not on my blog, but on one of my favourite blogs, Pat Flynn's smartpassiveincome.com. So one of the things you can do while you're learning HTML is to go in Chrome or whatever browser you're in, view developer, view source. And that will give you the HTML. This is the markup the browser reads and determines how the website looks. It's a good idea to look at this on websites that you come across. See if you can work out what's going on in the background. It's in two parts, more or less. The first part is the head, which goes all the way down that far. And that contains all meta information open graph information, calls for other files like CSS and JavaScript files and all sorts of stuff to do with the whole of the page. And when the head section finishes, the body section starts until right at the very end of the page. And that contains all the HTML that creates the contents of the page. But the other thing you can do up on view developer is developer tools which you can get on any browser you might try on a Mac command option I or on a PC control shift I you could try F12 as well you can also click on an element you want to change I think I'd like to make this type a bit more legible and you can right click on that and choose inspect element and that will bring up the developer tools and the element on the left hand side is actually selected in the HTML. So this is the HTML similar to what I showed you earlier but it's kind of stacked which is a much better visual way of looking at the HTML. So here I have selected the link blogging tips and I want to increase the size of it because we can't see it very clearly and over here on the right is the CSS which is in a different file to the HTML and this is how you control the way your website looks. So here you can see some of the CSS, but if you click on the next level up of the HTML, sometimes you have to do this, you get more of the CSS. And here we can see that there's a font size there of 1M. And the most amazing thing about developer tools is you can change the values on the fly to see what your website would look with different CSS. So, for example, we could increase the font size of this to 1.2M, and they're all got a bit bigger. The font weight's 300, let's make that a little bit thicker. Let's make it 900, so that's better. And we can take the opacity off, and it's brighter now. So all you have to do is find the relevant bit in your CSS, and then you can change the way that your website looks. And just to show you how to select something, let's click on the magnifying glass and then click on an element. And that's how you select in the left-hand pane the HTML. And then on the right-hand side, of course, you can see the CSS that controls the way it looks. Not only can you change the CSS on the fly, you can also change the HTML on the fly. So I could change that figure there. So let's give Pat 40 more thousand dollars this month. So I hope you enjoyed that. There's a little introduction to web development using developer tools. I've been showing you this in Chrome, but you can do it in Firefox or any other browser. This has been Rob from robcoven.com. Goodbye.